This is part two of Agrobacterium and Morgellons disease. It's important for you to understand that since the early 1970s, the Agrobacterium can transfer into plants causing crown gall disease. Okay, let me show you a picture of crown gall disease. Here are some images on YouTube uh, showing some ground, here's bacterial ground uh, crown gall on a root system. So we're gonna show you that here. See what happens is bacteria just lights itself on the plant and if it's not an adaptable host very easily it will just insert its RNA in there and take on the properties of the host in order to easily um, make that host its home. Agrobacterium transfer tDNA, a small region of approximately 5 to 10 percent of a resident tumor inducing TI or root inducing RI plasmid into numerous species of plants and it later turns out also to fungi, algae, and even animal and human cells. The association of Morgellons disease with dirt and soil where agrobacterium lives, the widespread use of agrobacterium in genetic engineering of plants, and the ability of agrobacterium to infect human cells all point towards a possible role of genetic engineering Extensive genetic manipulation of agrobacterium does have the potential to transform it into an aggressive human pathogen. Genetic engineering is nothing if not enhanced and facilitated okay, by the horizontal gene transfer and recombinations. Mei Wan Ho it was a geneticist known for her critical views on genetic engineering. She's authored and co-authored a number of publications and specifically pointed out the dangers of using irresponsibly agrobacterium for a variety of purposes, which it has now been used and is now spreading worldwide. Agrobacterium persists in transgenic plants and is a vehicle for gene escape. Also, it's important for you to know that by the late 1990s, agrobacterium vector system became very widely used on many, many GM crops. That's genetically modified crops. And this was a created method for commercial genetically modified crop release. Over in Scotland, they were concerned that the inserted genes in plants would spread to wild populations by cross-pollination or by horizontal gene transfer, as we discussed earlier. And they put out a lot of warnings, and they wanted a global imperative to address the extreme risks posed by using agrobacterium as tools for genetic engineering in general. Their suggestion was to do some test case studies, with some, uh, followed by some periods of elimination of the bacterium with antibiotics to test the safety of the system. However, when they did it, the bacteria weren't, if the bacteria were not eliminated, then the release of these plants may also result in the release of agrobacterium with foreign genes in everything that you eat, essentially. What we're trying to point out to you here, this is the, t this is the tr traditional normal protocol now for gen genetically modified crops of all kinds, and these genes have escaped into all of your food. Although some antibiotics were tried, very few authors actually test to ensure that the antibiotics succeed. This global difficulty is compounded because the bacterium can remain latent within the plant tissue. So putting transgenic plant material into culture medium without antibiotics and finding no agrobacterium is no guarantee that transgenic plant is free from bacterium. In other words, uh, escaped genes existing in the food that you eat. Deeper testing shows that up to six months after transformation, where approximately 50% of con contaminated material still harbored these uh, bacterial cells, with binary vector at high levels of about 10 to 7 colon colony forming units per gram. And here's the major alert. The presence of this disarmed agrobacterium in the tissue would not be a problem if the binary vector had been lost, but now its survival spread are real possibilities. Okay? The binary vector contains the foreign genes as well as the antibiotic resistance marker genes. In other words, the antibiotics are not antibiotic. In other words, agrobacterium persisting in transgenic plants released into the environment has a potential to spread new disease into plants that normally would not be infected and would not infect humans, now can. <laughs>